Wizards of the Coast has officially run out of ideas. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, and welcome to my Challenger Deck video. Let us talk about this new product that is going to be on offer. As of now, we don't have all of the details, but we certainly have enough to flesh out what's going on. The idea behind Challenger decks is they will be created in sets of four. So there'll be four different versions of these decks. The idea is to have a deck that you can take to an event and have it up and running like going to a standard tournament. You could purchase one of these Challenger decks and you'll be able to hop into the event just ready to go. It's got a 60 card deck, it's got a 15 card sideboard, it's got a life tracking die, and it has an insert to explain to you how the deck functions. So, some of you who have been around for a while may have realized that this is really just repackaging an old idea. These are event decks being trotted back out to us. They've changed the dresses that they're in, doubled them up, and sent them back out. Previously, event decks where they would have an offering of two decks that came along with each set, and these event decks were designed to be competitive in the standard environment. That was the intention behind the decks. Now, did they live up to this? No. Not really, not at all. Did they have nice cards in them? Yes, actually, they did. Some of them had some really nice cards in them. In fact, some of them had um, fetch lands in them, in fact. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was it the green, back, green black fetch land was in one of these event decks at one point. So the cards they included were not too terrible, but in terms of serving the purpose they were intended for, they were clunky and ill-suited to the environment they were meant for. It's pretty laughable that Wizards thought that they would be able to create these products and have them be a viable answer. Like, standard changes fairly frequently. I mean, unless there are really overbearing strategies, they tend to not stagnate too much and think things can shift. You're not looking at there's only this one deck for X months, right? So having an event deck like this didn't pan out that well most of the time. Now what's gonna happen this time around? I don't know, are they going to put more valuable cards into it? Who knows? They're saying the documentation, cranking my neck around, I don't know guys if you can see the weird jerking that I'm doing in this video, but something's going on with my neck. Anyhow, <laughs> the, um, the point behind these decks before was to get you into the events. They're, they're saying that basically the language that they're using is almost identical to the event deck language. I mean, event decks were 60 card decks with a 15 card sideboard. Same thing with challenger decks. I don't know if they're changing the name because they think that, you know what, event decks, these need to be equal to the event, whereas challenger decks mean maybe I'm not the strongest, but I can still bring a challenge. I'm not 100% certain as to why they changed the name. Maybe because they didn't want anyone to realize that it literally is they're, they don't, it's not a new idea. They're doing the exact same thing. They're bringing back event decks. The only variation may be the contents that they include in it. And I mean, the way that they market it, they're like, they're challenger decks, and they'll include at least two mythic rare guys. When I read the article on the mothership about it, I had a bit of a chuckle because they had like a little bit. Now here, from one of the designers or the people who will be in charge of what goes into it, I don't know, I think it's Gavin or something like that. Anyways, it's talking about how I'm really excited about these decks because when previously when we created products like this, see, wanting to kind of somewhat acknowledge that event decks existed in the past, but also be very vague so they're not, don't think about those. This is a brand new idea. So it's talking about how in the past, they were created so far in advance, because remember, these all have to be printed and all ready, right? Ready to go and print it. So they'd be created long time in advance, so they wouldn't be responsive to the environment. They wouldn't be suitable for the environment. So now he's talking about how now we have an assembled a team of pros, and we'll be able to do it much closer to release, essentially. And then it talks about, I can't wait to tell you about these decks in a few months, in a few months. So it's still acknowledging that it's probably gonna be four, five, six months out that they're designing these decks, which means they're guaranteed, guaranteed to not be responsive to the current standard environment. There's no way, there's no way for them to make the decks that they want. There's no way for them, for the event decks to be what they want to be, unless they made them 
on a monthly basis, and instead of printing them all ahead of time, they would just have to have tons of extra copies of all of the cards that were available in Standard and have the decks constructed by people and sent out each month with a particular new build or whatever. They are not going to be... My prediction for Challenger decks is they are not going to be the responsive item that Wizards is looking for. I don't know if they're looking for something that's more... Uh, friend, like, I mean, you've got the Planeswalker decks, and those are sold on the strength of the Planeswalkers, but they're also, the Planeswalker decks are looked at as two tools for noobs, right? So, they're probably looking for, they talk about the ramp on the, the ramp, so basically they're trying to be like, you get like a Planeswalker deck, because the Challenger decks, I believe, will probably be about $30. That's my guess, is the MSRP is $30. I don't know if they noted that down, or that's me just going off of the previous MSRP for older ones. But anyways, I feel like $30 is probably where they're going to settle the price on these. So you've got like the intro decks, which you get just for coming to an open house. And then they want you to move into a Deck Builder's Toolkit or a Planeswalker's, a Planeswalker deck. Ideally, I think they want you to do Planeswalker deck and deck builders toolkit move you into a bundle and then once you've got that stuff sell you a challenger deck so you've got something more competitive that's closer to being a tournament viable deck that you can tweak with more stuff so conceptually depending on i mean they're calling it a challenger deck depending fully on how they market it i may like it, it really comes down to how they're trying to market it and what they put in it based on how they're trying to market it that will really determine how successful and useful this product will be. Because if they don't do it right, it's going to end up considered the same kind of noob garbage that a Planeswalker deck is. Because the Planeswalker deck, like those decks have a bunch of stuff that aren't printed in standard, but the Challenger deck should not be like that. Theoretically, I don't know for sure. It should theoretically, though, just be cards you can crack regularly from booster packs. The fact that they're guaranteeing there will be at least two Mythic Rares makes me leery. I mean, they're... They're, they're, the fact that that means they're automatically going to be like, we guarantee at least two mythics. But it also means, is that the cap? I mean, are you capping it at two mythics? So it'll be like, strong decks need strong cards, right? I mean, do you think they're going to be making challenger decks with four scarab gods? Do you genuinely think they're going to do that? Do you understand what happens if they do that? If they make a deck with four scarab gods, it murders the market on scarab guard. Because of how valuable scarab god is, it pushes the sale of our devastation packs. So... It's not in Wizards' financial interest to put a lot of big money cards in these Challenger decks. So I don't expect them to be... Uh, honestly, they're literally just going back, grabbing event decks, pulling off its dress, putting on a new dress, grabbing two more and going, bloop, it's something brand new, guys. Look, we're only making them six months in advance instead of eight or ten or twelve months. Like, it's just... It's weak. It's unimaginative. And I don't have high hopes for the product. So, those are my thoughts on the challenger decks we will see when more information comes out where we sit but i just wanted to weigh in on the subject so thanks for coming by to crazy neck mtg purple we'll see you next time if you enjoyed yourself hit that like button hey everybody this is the blind hypno dragon all hail hypno dragon and i just want to say it together we are the sixth color of magic god i can't see i hope i'm taping this right